Kyoto, it's everyone else's fourth day. We're all doing our own thing. Everyone else went to Osaka. I still need to go to Unari Shrine, which is the red gates. Lucas, however, is still here. We were very lazy today and woke up at around 12. It's 1.30 now. Itikimasu, Lucas! <laughs> Finally made it to Nari Shrine and it's kind of lit here. There is so many people here. Commissioner! <laughs> I kid you not, it is like LA traffic in there. <laughs> Apparently, this is a three hour hike there and back, two to three, depending on how fast you walk. And there goes an old, elderly person. Not a difficult hike if you're able-bodied. There's two options, that one, or that one. I think I'm going to that one. I wonder if this means I'm at the summit. Not sure which way this one goes, but let's go. A few moments later. There's another shrine. I don't know where I am and how long before I get to the summit. Okay, awesome. now I know I made it to the summit. There's literally a sign that tells you. It's a super long line. Alright, just because it came up from the other way, I'm gonna go down the opposite way. Because I'm traveling alone right now, to get a picture here, I have to set up my tripod and put on a self-timer. It took me forever to get a shot of myself. That's one of the worst things about traveling alone. And now I'm heading back down the mountain. So again, this wasn't by any means a difficult hike. I guess you would still consider it a hike because you are hiking upwards? Yeah? People that were blind were doing this hike. Children, people that are old. I'd really recommend it if you have the opportunity to do it. Apparently there's also two ways to get up this mountain. I don't know which way is easier, which way is shorter. All I know is I went up one way and I'm going down the other way. This way is actually much more woody and foresty. Less red gates on this side of the mountain. I kind of like that. I like being able to look at nature while seeing the occasional red gate. This is the worst when there are people that are in groups and they take up the whole path. Why do you do that? So from what it seems, most of the crowd actually stays in the main shrine area. Only a few people actually come up to the mountain compared to how many are actually at the main shrine area. And it's really nice. There's a lot of shrines, a lot of red gates, and not that many people. It's not as packed as you think it'd be. And I'm here around 3, 4 p.m. So these little side tracks, they obviously tell you on these signs that it's not an exit and it tells you that the exits are this way. It's written in English and there's signs pointing exit this way. So there's no reason for you to get lost. I think I'm correct in saying that this shrine is dedicated to the god of rice. Pretty sure that's right. This is so annoying. If you're in need of a restroom, don't immediately go to the woods unless like you really, really gotta go. But there are restrooms here. I might be wrong, but I think each gate represents a business and business can actually buy these gates and it brings them good fortune, I believe. I think I took a different exit from the main shrine because I have no idea where I am. A few moments later. And I managed to find my way back. Cool. I just passed by so many food stalls. If you're hungry, just make a left at the Nari Shrine and like, you'll find something to eat. Tomorrow. Often, this 
visited area in Japan. Can you guess what we came to see? I'm going to touch it, the deer. Oh. Yeah, I touched Bambi. <laughs> Someone else touched it too. Damn it, you found it! <laughs> you put it in there! <laughs> 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 You have some more senbei on you? This is not a senbei cracker, don't eat my camera. That is a Buddhist temple. Those are cherry blossom trees. They're just starting to bloom. This is what the motto for this area looked like 800 years ago. I'm still thinking about the Imperial Palace and how they moved. Oh, this is 300 years ago. Oh, it's like evolution. There's a, there's a lot of people buying a hole. I bet it'll be a whole lot of fun. Oh, you're so funny. Oh. <laughs> there's a hole over there that this place is known for. I'm still confused. Did one day they just notice a hole like, hey, we can turn this to a religious yeah. thing. Oh, okay, so explain to me what this represents. It was like for luck or something. I don't really remember. Okay, if he can get through, okay, then I can yeah. get through. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some luck by sliding through Buddha's nostril. No one saw that coming, me fitting through that. No one believed, but I did. We are in downtown Kyoto. And a lot of food places here. Not much else. Also, it's an hour ride back to Kyoto. We made it back to our Airbnb. Everyone's upstairs because their room's upstairs. Allison's right there. I'm in my room. Luke is on his way back. He separated from the group. We're gonna all take a nap before we go out for dinner. Last dinner in Kyoto. Just woke up from a nap and no one bothered to wake us up. It's like six now. Any place decent. I don't know if it'll be able to fit all eight of us. I should let me know if everyone's here. What are they like what are the cash raises for Minnesota? Uh, you betcha. <laughs> That's what my aunt says after like everything. Like she's like, "Oh, Sean, could you go let the dogs out? You betcha!" And I'm like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs>
international licenses here. Okinawa. Oh.